me. I'm sorry about what happened to you and your folks years ago, but no one in Forest Green wants to be reminded of what that maniac did here. That's why we changed the name. People want to forget this was Crystal Lake. They don't need some kid stirring up Jason shit again. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we have a new format here that I'm going to uh, start now and use uh, for my reviews now. Uh, I might go back and review all my figures. I, I don't know. Uh, we'll see what happens. But I figure, um, you know, they need justice uh, now that we got better equipment. Uh, these reviews, the content can be way much better than the reviews that I was doing in the past. So uh, I feel to bring justice to the figure and to really show what the uh, artist did to um, to the work, you know, it's only right to use it in this format. So with that being said, uh, I figured the first figure we would go over is probably... I think, in my opinion, Beto Metalli's uh, best figure that he's probably has done, period, is Part 6 Jason from Friday the 13th, uh, Jason Lives. Uh, the Part 3 Jason kind of held the throne for many years, but then as soon as he released this figure, it was, it was a wrap. This, I believe, took the throne. And Part 2, or I mean Part 3 is now... In second place and part four is now in third place hopefully in the future we can see a part seven I think if he does a part seven um, I just have a feeling that that will take uh, the throne over this part six so let's dig into it let's take a look at that head scope all right as you can see Beto has captured the part six uh, hockey mask. Uh, the details are accurate to the film. Even the uh, the straps on the hockey mask are accurate to the film. It's just every time this guy does work on these figures, he just nails everything perfect, um, all the way to screen accurate. Uh, the real leather pieces, of course, the mask is uh, resin. Uh, the paint app, beautiful. The weathering, beautiful. So there's this edition, which is the standard edition, and then there is the deluxe edition that has um, extra items to it. One being a battle damage hockey mask um, from the damage that the propeller did at the end of the film and the bullet hole in the um, hockey mask. I did not get the deluxe edition this is only the standard so it uh, basically just comes with uh, the standard regular mask and again he just he just nailed it okay now here is where you have Jason with the hockey mask off once again Beto has captured all the detail correctly uh, everything from the uh, the cut on the left side with the machete that happened in part four all the way to uh, you can see details of the skull um, the paint app I mean once again he just he nailed it um, there are two different sculpts there's like again this one is the standard edition then in the deluxe edition he has a sculpt of Jason I believe with his eyes closed um, it's basically to represent if you displayed him inside the coffin 
and we'll we'll get into more uh, talk as far as the corpse of Jason in the coffin and what I did on my end uh, to portray that look. I didn't go, like I said, I didn't go with the deluxe edition, but uh, I went a different route. And we'll get more into that. So we swapped out the hands, put the machete in to kind of give you guys a better view of the whole figure and just to see the body of work that Beto puts in uh, into his projects. It's basically not just grab a figure from eBay or a body from eBay and then just put clothes on it and then there you go. Like Beto modifies these bodies. He, again, he tries to get exactly 100% accurate to the character in the film. Um, so when people sit there and say projects are taking too long and stuff like that, you have to understand the body of work that he is putting into these figures. You can basically just purchase a regular body and throw clothes on it, but it's not going to look right. It's just going to look, it's not going to do no justice to the figure at all. So a lot of work, a lot of time is being placed into these figures. That's the reason why it takes so long. That's the reason why the cost is the way that it is. It's just the body of work that's being put in there. So you can either want something that's shitty or you can want something like this. And like I said, as you can see, he just, he, he nailed it perfect. I mean, when you pose this in different poses and then you watch the film, it's dead on. And again, so here's another close shot. As you can see the details on that shirt where uh, Tommy was stabbing Jason while he was inside the coffin. Again, Beto just again pays attention to detail and captures everything don't know if I'll keep this pose um, holding the, the machete I think it's a little bit more badass with him holding the spear and just leaving the machete inside the sheath so uh, yeah I'll probably swap that out after this is over with but again this if you missed out on this good luck trying to trying to find one on the market I, I've seen it for sale maybe twice but I seriously doubt anybody else would get rid of this unless they absolutely have to but for me nah this bad boy is going to the grave man. all right Jason's weapons down to absolute perfection uh, the first thing we're gonna look at is how he did this dart I don't know how he did it I don't know, let alone how he got the feathers in there, but screen accurate. Amazing how he did all three. Absolutely amazing. Made out of resin, and then uh, the link there is metal. Don't know how he did that, but just amazing. Then you got the knife, resin handle, metal blade this one wasn't uh this one really wasn't sharp but this bad boy the machete you can cut yourself let alone cut an apple with it that's how sharp this thing was don't know if i'll ever pose it with uh him holding the machete But just again, overall amazing work. And that latches right back on there. So for those who own this, of course you know those darts are hard to uh, take out of that pouch. Once they go in, they stay in. But for the review, I figured, you know, give you guys justice and show uh, how Beto just killed this. I think, I don't know how many of these he did. I mean, that is tedious right there. Work. That's a, just a lot of work to do. He absolutely nailed that. Perfect. Last but not least that came with the figure was the tombstone. Once again, done by Beto. 
all by hand. Just the detail on this is amazing. The paint job, the weathering. I'm surprised they even did a tombstone for his ass. Normally you just sit there and just bury him somewhere and just forget it, but I guess they were nice enough to say, hey, this is where he's at. But once again, just all done by hand. Absolutely amazing. So there it is. We got number four out of 15 pieces of the Jason Liz Friday the 13th Part 6. Jason Voorhees 1 6 custom figure, the basic edition. Uh, like I said, there's the basic edition and then there is the deluxe edition. Um, again, when it comes down to the um, displaying him in the coffin, because I do have the coffin, I didn't really want a second figure to pose in there because it just it doesn't look right. Um, I want it to be as accurate as possible and when Jason is a corpse I mean he's a corpse he's a thin dead piece of meat and instead you know you can't put a bulky Jason in the coffin and try it's just not gonna look right in my opinion so I am I, I just wanted to look exactly how it was in the film so I had one custom made and still in the uh work in progress um, I got some webbing that I'm gonna do uh, just try to make it as close as possible how it looked in the film without taking away too much detail of the actual uh, sculpt that was done so I'll probably in my next review I'll do a video showing uh, what the sculpt looks like and then uh, the next will be the you know with all the weathering and the webbing added to the coffin and to the figure itself so hopefully I don't screw this up so uh, that'll be the either the next video or sometime down sometime next month I would say uh, I'll have it loaded up here on the channel till then um, I, like I said I probably may do more reviews like this with uh, my other figures but from here on out anything new that I have uh, you know, we're going to use this format. I do have Prince coming, Freddie Mercury. Uh, we have a King. Um, there's so many that I have over here on the side that I have not even touched to do a review yet, but they are coming, so stay tuned.